What's going on Vapor fans? Welcome back to another item spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about the Smock t priv kit. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am super late to the party on this one, okay? So, I received this from Smock about like, you know, uh, a week-ish ago, and uh, I already see that there's a whole bunch of reviews out there, right? So, I'm sure you guys have already seen reviews on this. So, you know what? Instead, I'm going to take this item and run a class you know what i mean we haven't done a pva educational in a while so why not do it in an item spotlight real quick so are you guys ready for the knowledge bomb if so let's do this Okay, shockingly enough, we are not starting off with the dive cam today. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, screen cap uh, on this side. So uh, right now, I pulled up Smock, and then we have the uh, T priv over here. So uh, yeah, if you guys got dually monitors, let's do this together. You know what I mean? So uh, bring up the uh, sp uh, smoke tech, and then kit T priv right here. Okay, so um, looking at it, uh, it's kind of got like this, you know, Optimus Prime looking kind of uh, uh, side profile view over here. I dig it i dig it i like it okay um you know as i said before right there's a lot of mods out there these days and i feel as if like you know um uh mod innovation right has really uh, gotten to its apex it's peaking right now you know what i mean and in order to get up to the next plateau of stuff it's going to take like a real stroke of genius so uh before we get there we're going to see a lot of stuff you know fo focused on aesthetics and i feel as if like you know if you're gonna do some aesthetics go hard you know what i mean because like you know styling 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 because you know uh, as far as functionality wise is concerned right you know like a little powerful plus here and there uh temperature control here and there you know how many watts you could do how many batteries hold you know it's pretty much all the same you, you know uh what i do like about the smock uh you, you know uh mods and whatever is pretty much the big ass button you know what i mean uh, all the priv models uh doesn't matter which priv uh they, they all got like you know these big ass buttons uh, the, the alien kit has it as well and uh it's very comfortable to use you know i dig it uh i will say before we go any further that um little bit of button rattle little bit okay and uh even though uh many times we talk about like hey you know I use my mod, right? I'm not walking around shaking it like a maraca. I really don't mind. Yeah, I know, but some people do. And as a reviewer, it's kind of like my job to report it, as well as to kind of sort of say 2017 probably shouldn't be having the uh, shaky button issue anymore, right? No, you shouldn't have any button rattle or whatever. If not, then it kind of suggests a little bit lazy somewhere. And if that is the case, then it makes you want to look into other places as well. Anyhow, so uh, other than like, you know, how many different kind of colors it comes in and stuff and all the craziness and whatever, uh, I do want to take a look at some of the uh, hardcore specs on this thing, okay? So what I'm going to do is that uh, there is something over here that I just got to uh, disagree with, okay? Um, since I'm late to the party, I'm not going to go over like, you know, clickety-clack this and it does the light show, blah, 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 uh, how to toggle, you know, different kinds of, um, you know, the functions within the, uh, the the stainless steel or whatever, because you guys already know that. And if you don't know that, you could watch another review for that. And if you didn't watch another review for that, you could just read up on it. You know what I mean? It's, either way, it's going to come with an instruction manual that's going to teach you how to do it. All you need to know is, you know, does it even have that feature? And basically, you know, when, when we scroll all the way down, over here it's going to show you that like it absolutely does okay so um uh output power output power is exactly what i want to talk about okay uh today's class as far as output power is something that i want to talk about that um 
uh, I caught a long time ago, okay? But before I do that, let me just scroll down real quick uh, uh, all the way down here so that, like, you guys can see, you know, it's got, like, the short circuit protection, overheating protection, you know, puff monitoring, blah, 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 all that jazz, right? Okay, so that's great. Now, uh, what I want to disagree with real quick over here, right, is that personally, I think that this thing is kind of like a 6.5-ish cutoff and not a, uh, a 9.0 cutoff, okay? So, um, <clears throat> for those of you who have followed the channel, for many years okay uh, agree with me on this because you know I've done the math for you guys I've proved it or whatever but we're gonna go back in time and, and do it again okay um, so that like you know the, the uh, some of you newer viewers can, can catch up with uh, uh, all of the uh, jargon that, that that we do here on PVA so um, voltage range right it says it does like you know uh, 5 volts to a uh, uh, 9.0 actually uh, 0.5 volts all the way to 9.00 okay uh, that is uh, very um, very braggable actually if you could actually do that okay however uh, I ran a couple of tests myself and I found this thing to be voltage capping at somewhere around 6.5 okay and um, let's talk about that uh, on FaceTime a little bit okay so in the old days, right, uh, when I talk about old days, I, I talk about, like, you know, uh, things like the MVP and stuff like that, where people only had, like, a cap of, like, you know, 11 watts or 15 watts or whatever, and, uh, you know, there was only a couple of people who had, like, you know, higher wattage mods, right? And then, uh, what a high wattage mod was at the time was, you know, like 40, 50 watts, you know, uh, DNA 20, DNA 30, and then 40, 50 watts. And then there were like, you know, 60 watt box mods and stuff like that. And then people were like, oh, I'm taking it up to 60 watts or whatever, right? Um, but if at the time we were all learning the industry and trying to like keep up with the math and understand what's going on a lot, that uh, I chose to spend a lot of time on the Ohm's Law calculator and what stuff means and stuff like that, okay? And what I ended up discovering, right, was that like, you know, uh, a lot of things out there, although they claim super high wattage, the issue about this was that it required a super low Ohm coil in order to achieve said wattage because of the voltage cutoff. That's a mouthful, right? Okay, one more time. Okay, <clears throat> uh, in order to achieve a high wattage setting, it required a very low ohm coil because of a lower voltage cutoff. Okay, so what does that mean? What, 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 are we, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? This thing is 60 watts. It's super powerful. No, it's not that powerful. Okay, because what happens is that if you go over to the Ohm's Law calculator and let's play with it a little bit, okay? If, let's say, um, a mod, right, is capable of 60 uh, watts at the time. And 60 watts was a really, really big deal, like, say, three years ago, right? People were like, wow, that thing goes up to 60 watts. Okay, great. However, if the voltage cutoff of this thing, right, was actually nine volts, like how, uh, you, you know, uh, a lot of the mods out there claim to be, right? When you calculate over here, right, that means that it could fire resistances up to 1.35 to get like, you know, 60 watts or whatever, okay? However, let's reset this real quick, right? If the voltage cutoff was something really, really low, right, like, five volts or something like that then when we put in what 60 watts is okay you needed a 0.4 ohm coil in order to get yourself up to 60 watts you see what I mean? because it, ca it caps out uh the, the 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 mod caps out at five volts so 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 what does that mean okay that means that like uh no matter what you do it's always going to cap out at five volts so let's say we went ahead and uh we put in a 0.25 coil in there right but however you crank it it could only go up to a maximum of five volts so when you when you get the um uh the the the, the wattage of, of this thing right uh you know normally you'd be able to go up to 100 right but because the setting of the mod only goes up to 60 right so what happened what actually happens 0.25 coil 60 over here you know what i mean it, it, it goes to 3.8 right but if you put it in like let's say like a 0 0.8 0 0.8 coil 
Ooh, I don't know where that music came from. But let's say you put in like a 0.8 coil, right? Point, 0.8, 0 0.85, whatever, right? And then, you know, you crank this watt, uh, the watts up like, like so, right? It'll go to 6.9. Uh, it, it needs to go to 6.92 in order to do so, right? But that's not what's going to happen. What's actually going to happen is that it's going to cap out at the 5 volts, and you still have a resistance of 0.8. And then, even though you cranked it up to 60 watts, you're only going to be blasting this at uh, 31.25 watts maximum. Okay, if you crank it up to 32, 35, or whatever, it just won't do it. That's that's all. So a long time ago, I talked about exactly what a sweet spot of a mod is, right? So uh, if I had to reset this again, and exactly as I said before, okay, if the smock mod, right, this T print, right, it actually goes up to nine volts as it claims, so nine volts as such, right, and then you put 220 watts, calculate, right, you need a coil of somewhere around 3.6. 818 right in order to you know have this thing at full blast okay and the thing is that like you want to use your voltage uh the maximum voltage that it could crank out because uh the more voltage that you intentionally use uh the the uh, the, the the better your ramp up time is going to be okay so <clears throat> this is one way of uh, achieving 220 watts right Okay, but the problem is that I said that this thing, okay, is never going to uh, uh, bust out more than uh, six six point five, right? So before, um, what, what, I'm sorry, what was the uh, the coil before? Uh, three point six, right? Okay. So if we put in a coil of point three six as so, right, and then I said that the uh, voltage caps out of pretty much somewhere around six point five, right? Then the mod only fires at like one hundred seventeen. You see what I'm saying? Now, in order for you to get like the 220 or something like that at 6.5, then we are gonna have to put this in again, 6.5, and then 220, you know what I mean? And then when we calculate, you need a coil of like, you know, 0.19 or whatever in order to get 220 watts. But you're only, you know, using 6.5 volts. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say, right, is that the mod, Although you see like these huge numbers, right? It's not as powerful as you think it is. Okay, and uh, what bugs me about this one is that like you know the stats that's written on the website over here, uh, 220 watt mod plus you know going up to you know nine volts or whatever. Uh, at first to me was wow that's very impressive. However, when I ran the test, then you know it, it didn't actually do that. So uh, now what we're going to do is come over to the dive cam and let me show you a couple of the stuff, uh, uh, a couple of things that I'm using so that you could actually do this test at home if you wanted to. All right, guys. So welcome to the new dive cam over here. So you guys are looking over my shoulder, and uh, yeah. So I have the mod next to me, right? I've got a little Optimus Prime face over here. Um, my mouse control, and then um, you know the, this is the uh, the multi beater. Okay. So the multi beater. I hope you guys already know how to set this up. I have this set, uh, set up so, uh, for a voltage test over here, the uh, uh, 0 0.20. Okay. So um, what this is going to be is that where it's going to move the decimal to, right? So that uh, I don't think that we're going to be breaking double digits in voltage over here, right? So like I said before, it should show like 6.5, so something something around there, okay? I'm not going to turn this on just yet. So um, get yourself a, um, a big ol' RDA, okay? So uh, with me today, I'm going to be using the Blizz RDA, okay? Um, not advertising the Blizz or anything like that, it's just got like really big ports in here so that like, you know, I could uh, shove my uh, leads in there. Uh, if you don't have this, you could use alligator clips as well, but be careful what you're doing because, you know, these things are going to be firing hot, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. Okay, I want to intentionally do this in one continuous shot so that like, you know, you guys see that like, you know, everything that I'm doing, I'm not cheating or anything like that. Okay, so uh, leave my cap over here and then you guys know the difference between positive and negative, right? So this one's surrounded by the Delrin inside or this is going to be the positive port. This is going to be the negative port, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then insert uh, my positive with the positive and so. Okay, so okay. Now you guys normally see me do this with like an inline meter because I'm super lazy. Okay, 
Uh, but the difference is that uh, this meter would be able to hand, uh, handle a little bit more amperage when we're testing, you know, uh, anything that's running like 25 amps or higher without uh, frying the inline meter. Also, uh, with a digital multimeter, if the signal is inverted, you would still be able to read the signal while on a, uh, a non-powered, you know, um, uh, inline meter, then, you know, you're not going to be able to, to do that. So, um... I'm gonna shove in my negative like so, okay, and then um, you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tighten it up as if like it's a coil or something. Okay, so ba bam, right now I have this going on over here. Now I have no batteries inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Type C batteries. These are some Pegasus Type C batteries. Okay, very powerful batteries, and um, we're just going to go ahead and shove this in here. Okay, so exactly as it's asking me, uh, positive this way, negative this way, and then we're going to do this. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. Right, smock turns on. Right, and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring this over to the camera over here and then try to uh, focus focus so that you guys can see what's going on right and then uh, real quick fire uh, 0.354 coil right so new coil yes 0.35 right okay so uh, this is exactly what I was claiming before right so if I go ahead and I fire this thing right okay you see this in the front in the back right okay so I'm gonna fire this 6.43 something like that uh, let's take a look at the screen over here so the little screen says 6.43 right and my digital multimeter says what when I fire it 6.43 right so accurate okay um, so what I'm gonna do now is that we're going to open up the uh, screen cap as well our Ohm's law calculator over here Okay. Uh, I'm gonna intentionally open up a couple of Ohm's law cal calculators because I can't be can't be bothered. Okay, so um, what do I have here, right? I have 0.35 on the resistance, right, and then uh, 6.43 on the voltage, right, and then when I calculate over here, bam. Okay, uh, this thing, as I showed you before, was set at 220 watts. Right, so if I could go ahead and uh, there we go, 220 watts, right? Okay, but when we look at our calculator over here, what are we actually firing at? 118. Okay, now I don't want to take away from Smock or anything. Okay, I still think that this is a wonderful product. I personally never, ever, ever break 100 watts. You know what I mean? And I don't think many of you guys like break 100, 110 watts either okay so once you have it set around there anything from you know the 118 and up okay uh, this this mod is basically just not doing it okay now uh, how do we get it to actually do the 220 watts that it's claiming it is right uh, like I said before if this thing is capped at like 6.43 6.5 somewhere around there right then let me open up another Ohm's law and then um, we type in six point, you know, I don't know, four three, whatever, right? And then the, uh, sorry, the wattage at two hundred twenty watts, and then we calculate. We need actually something really low, like a point eighteen coil or something like that, in order to do that. And when we do that, we're going to be running like thirty five amps through this thing. So you better have some powerful batteries in order to do this okay all right guys so clearly we need an atomizer with like a much lower resistance right so uh lucky me i have a dark horse over here with a retardedly low build all right so uh let's come back to the dive cam again and let's give it another try okay so this time i i ditched the uh, multimeter because i feel as if like the multimeter and the uh the the the, the reader over here is very very accurate okay uh, so there's no, there's no reason to to uh, double check with the multimeter to see if the uh, calibration of the this thing is correct okay if it doesn't do what it's firing it will say so we'll put it in our super batteries 
okay um, bang, like so okay and then come on with that all right so here we go again okay and then we're gonna fire this right uh, 0.13 just to click it real quick you know what I mean so it, it recognizes that it's still the same coil right and then one two three 5.36 did you guys see 5.36 that's what I saw okay so uh, I'm gonna record over here 220 watts so yeah absolutely this thing does 220 watts but you need a super low ohm coil in order to do so okay so uh, what ends up happening what ends up happening is that the voltage caps are at like you know five ish or whatever you know what I mean and then when I have it you know with a, a you know a, a much a lighter coil inside like you know the 0 0.3 0 0.35s and stuff like that then we're able to go up to like around like 6.5 you know what I mean that's the actual truth range of this device so uh, again guys not to take away from it or anything like that if you guys are your heart is set on like you know what I mean hey you know, you said nine volts that I need nine volts for blah 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 whatever reason, etc. etc. Okay. Personally, I think nine volts, two hundred twenty watts on you know like a 0.35 coil or whatever is super super uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, I don't know who's gonna vape something like that, and that's why I still say this is a very very good mod uh, for what it does, all its functions, its little light shows and, and and things like that. But I need to point out. For you guys that when you are considering certain mods and numbers or whatever you know what I mean you need to uh, check what's going on with stuff you know and I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed you know this little featurette of how to use the multi beater to get the truth out of uh, you know different devices out there okay so you know I'm still going to be constantly doing my thing you know with the multi beater and stuff and uh, giving you guys like the, the true factual numbers with uh, the different devices as I receive them and whatnot but you know as far as what I personally think of the mod itself still a pretty decent pickup okay all right guys so uh let's talk about uh the giveaway from the last video uh, from the last item spotlight right so uh yeah uh, if we go ahead and sort sort by uh newest first okay uh all the way down over here the uh, right answer was no i am pure five i'm actually very impressed by this okay i was so sure i was going to get a whole bunch of you know like luke i am your father's or whatever which is the common misconception that you hear everywhere but i am super proud of all of you guys all of you have have gotten it right and uh i guess uh, we're all in the same boat that when you do hear the luke i am your father it is absolutely cringe worthy to all of us um now although mike royer was the first uh one to apply but when i click over here uh, i can't tell if you liked or subscribed or anything like that so i'm sorry mike the uh next person up that w i was able to uh tell fr from the uh the, the like and subscribe over here well, excuse me so the um here's a like and here's a subscribe just to show you guys uh, at home like you know how it is done or whatever is uh, Jose C so congratulations Jose C yay you guys uh, you have won the um the chroma uh, a kit in the solid black so uh real quick guys i i, I want to do an update i also will uh be talking about this in my uh, uh upcoming uh vlog uh exactly how to win stuff okay so uh what happens is that we're going to have the uh, the shop section over here and i want to show you a, a guys a new section of the website okay um the, the website as you guys know was down for a little bit we had we decided to rework a lot of it uh still many things is under construction give us a little time we've been working on it day and night okay uh but yeah if you go over to the pegastash section over here okay there is a ton of stuff why because there's just way too much stuff on my shelf okay and i need to like get rid of uh, some of it um as far as the uh, the sale items over here or whatever right i only have one copy 
okay? Uh, it's it's just what I have. Some of it's sealed, some of it isn't. Uh, different prices for stuff. Uh, things that was opened and reviewed or whatever but is a little bit cheaper uh, as opposed to, you know, things that are like, you, you know, just sealed and, and never opened. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the prize, okay? So the uh, Chroma A is, is the prize over here and I marked it for $1,000. This is just to make sure that nobody else is buying it or whatever it's, okay? <laughs> Relax, it's not a thousand dollars. Okay, so on the uh, Pegasus uh, stash section over here, so I have a test prize that's already in my uh, cart over here, right? So when I go ahead and then I view cart, okay, uh, what happens is that let me remove this real quick okay uh you're going to have a uh, coupon code section over here right so the the item the price is marked at like a thousand dollars right so at the coupon code for this example it's like oh my god i won right so uh if you go ahead and apply the code boom okay uh this thing will bring it down to five bucks which basically just covers the shipping and the prize is yours okay so you know this prevents anybody from like tampering and blah, blah, blah whatever and then uh this is just a lot easier for me to like print out your shipping label and get it done and uh get your prize over to you okay so again congratulations jose c uh you have won the enokin chroma kit so i did say over here that i do have another sealed uh, T Priv kit to give away, and it comes with the, uh, uh, the 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 little baby beast tank over here. Okay, really, really kick-ass uh, set. I, I dig it. You know, it's pretty sweet. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Okay, let's go back to the screen cap one more time. Okay, and here's the game that we're going to play. All right. So, uh, bam. Okay, who are these guys? Who? Okay. Uh, Take a look at them, take a look at it very closely, okay? And then uh, leave in the comment section, you know, one, two, three, and four, okay? Exactly uh, who these four guys are, okay? Um, it's okay if you spell the name wrong and and I and I know like exactly what you mean or whatever okay that's that's acceptable again you have to like and subscribe I have to be able to see it right but uh, this time what I'm going to do is that uh, everybody who's got the right answers or whatever I will put it in the lottery and then you know we will go ahead and uh, uh, you, you know pick a, uh, the name randomly as opposed to the first person to get it right you know what I mean because that way you know everybody sees everybody's answers and it doesn't really matter because you know you, it's still going to be chosen uh, randomly between everybody who got the right answers and like and subscribe the video okay so it, yeah guys uh, good luck to you on that one and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video as we always say here on PVA question everything do your homework and they clever everyone take care thanks for watching and to learn more about batteries and all things vape click on the banner or visit pegasusvaporacademy.com